All right, welcome back to another walk around and test drive video here at Coyote Classics. Today, we're gonna to be checking out and taking for a spin this 1971 Dodge Charger 500. Super straight car, Dalton. And uh, the thing about this car, this is an original V2 code, Hemi Orange Charger 500. So, uh, was born as Hemi Orange and that's had one repaint um, years ago back to its original color. As we go underneath the hood, it's powered by its numbers matching 383 four barrel carburetor. It's got a stock manifolds on it with all the correct stuff, the correct covers under there. It's got power disc brakes, power steering, and factory air conditioning. It has been updated to an aluminum radiator. Um, this car came in. Uh, we just haven't had a lot of time to tune it up and do all the final touches of it. We got it checked in, got it buffed out, cleaned up, and uh, we're putting it out here for sale. So we will be running it back through our shop and uh, doing the little stuff here uh, later. We're not tuning this thing. Um, this was in a private collection for about probably seven to ten years. Uh, the guy had about ten cars, so it sat inside. Didn't see a lot of the road here in the last ten, you know, five, three, four, five years. Uh, so just coming in like this and firing it up, I'll tell you what, the thing runs pretty good. If you look up and down the sides, the paint and body is laser straight on this car. Uh, very, very nice body. Cool exhaust, looks good on it. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're going to see just how solid the frame rails, original trunk, floor pans all are on it. You're going to see just a little bit of the original uh, Hemi Orange paint underneath the floor pans and stuff like that. Just a very solid original car. The more I look up and down the side of this car, the more I love it. I mean, to find a 71 Charger 500 numbers matching car anymore, especially in a Hemi Orange and this damn straight and solid, pretty hard to find. Yeah, exactly. I think a lot of the interior is original too, which speaks to, you know, how it was cared for its life. How many miles on it? You want to kind of check that out? Fifty-nine thousand. Fifty-nine thousand. Very well could be 159. It's uh, always hard to tell on that, but it does, like I said, it has its original motor in it. Pretty original under the hood as well. Uh, grill is in excellent shape. Again, so many of these cars, uh, bumpers and grill are just shot in them. I mean, they're just abused. The back of the hood lines up great as far as the top of the um, fender to the top of the hood lines up nicely, front to back. Paint quality of the car, it buffed out beautifully. Here's another thing, these are huge hoods. And check out how this, I mean, without even adjusting it, you just shut the hood and look how it lines up. Both sides are that way. Uh, windshield looks great as far as the top of the dash pad, all looks nice as well from, uh, from side to side. It has two tiny little specks right here, little paint imperfection. Other than that, that front balance is tucked in there nicely. Again, the gap, you're not going to get it any better than that. That's so many times there's body filler in here, and it's just... He like said, the more I look at it, the more sold I become. Um, inside of the door, front edge lines up perfectly. So what is the rocker panel and the lower fender, no bubbles or blisters. Come along here the back of the quarter uh, back of the door lines up awesome to the quarter panel again so many times on this rocker right down here in this lower quarter on these chargers are just full of bondo and blisters and absolutely perfect down there and really nice i don't know when the paint was done but it's got a beautiful finish on it yeah it really does i mean timmy buffed it out looks great 
Back of the quarter is perfect, no bubbles or blisters. As we come back here, the rear balance lines up very nicely. The bumper's obviously been re-chromed. I mean, they're excellent. Um, and here's what this 500 is, Dalton. Not only the buckets council, but look at the tail lights. Uh, special tail lights in the 500. Yeah, neat. Would you mind going ahead and open that trunk for us? I'm gonna kind of show everybody how solid and original that is. Original paint's still in there. Back part of this trunk lid lines up nice. Same thing across. Here. Um, around the back windows, all nice and solid. Back glass is good. Yeah, so you don't see that very often. Yeah, so original Hemi orange paint in the quarter panels. Looks like the original quarters up there. Original paint in the inners. Same thing on all floors. I mean, it's just original. 100% original. Solid too. Again, we got probably 20 photos of the undercarriage on our website. Original undercoating, all original quarter panels, to my expertise, I guess you'd say. Bottom of the trunk lid doesn't have any body filler in it either. Really solid car. A lot of these Mopars, you know, didn't didn't stay this solid. <laughs> no, A lot of them brought it out, but this one, well cared for. Um, this side of the balance, nice as well. Get, as we go up and down, all the way around the wheel wells, I don't know anyone else that crawls on their knees to show everyone every little bubble or blister. But uh, it's well worth it. We want our customers to know every little inch of this car. Um, so when they get the car, they're just as satisfied when they get it as when they purchase it over the phone. Absolutely. Another thing, in this area on these lead lines, a lot of times you're gonna see cracks, stuff like that. This is absolutely smooth. I mean, there's no cracks, stress cracks, nothing there. Door gap's good. Door doesn't fit too bad. Not quite as good right here as on the passenger side, but doesn't stick out much at all. Just a little bit there. Um, front fender lines up beautifully down here. Again, no chips or blisters, bubbles, nothing. The mirror is 100% original. It does have a lot of pits on the mirror and the chrome mirror. Um, little micro scratches along the original 500 chrome up here. Same thing with the door handle. A lot of little scratches in the chrome. I'll come back over to that side too. I didn't I missed that door. But as we come in here, the door jam paint's just as nice as the paint on the outside of the car. They did repaint the door jams. They did it right. Um, left all the original black paint in here. They didn't just they did it professionally. Uh, door panels are in great shape remote mirror inside here they did uh, cover the door jam paint nicely as well repainting that scuff plates are new carpet is new doors open nice passenger side uh, paint on the jam is just as nice as the driver Never had any body filler, any work on those cor corner of the doors. You can tell they painted the car with the doors off. And there's no tape line or nothing like that. That looks nice there. Inside corner of the door is good. Uh, roof rail rubbers. I don't know. They could. They're they're in good shape to look at them, but they're a little stiff. They could be the original still. Um, same thing with the window uh, felts. They're definitely original. Door rubbers have been replaced. The seat right here, guys, should be, I don't know if it's just a skosh short on this edge right here, but you can see that in the photos too, um, if you look real close. Other than that, all the original plastic and stuff's all here. The seats slide up and down. Seat covers have been replaced. Uh, back seat is in great shape as well. Back door panels are original and nice. Headliner's 100% original. There's a little hole back there in the headliner. Dome light uh, does not work at this time. It's got the overhead seat belts, and we did go ahead. I know we ordered these for sure. I might have ordered a dome light cover as well, but I know I ordered a brand new mirror for it that'll be here in a couple days, and new visor bushings because this one's a little short. Uh, it's got the factory chi Charger 500 dash. Check out in here, and I like to really look in these glove boxes because you can kind of tell this wasn't restored. This all looks original in here. Just really nice and clean. 
AM radio, no factory tack, but it is a factory original numbers matching Charger 500. Uh, 727 automatic transmission, original console's in good shape, and latches properly. Um, and this is kind of cool too, as far as I can see, the original steering wheel. Um, it does have a little one crack right here on the uh, driver's side. Other than that, nice and clean and original. Door shut really easy too, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's a good looking car. We got a 71 original Hemi Orange Challenger and a 71 original Hemi Orange Charger at the same damn time. Back to back, we did a video of the Hemi Orange uh, Challenger yesterday, and that has a 440 in it. This one's a numbers matching 383. Um, seats are perfect, very, very nice. Both of them, no wear coming in or out. They've been recovered. Carpet, excellent. Probably done at about the same time as the paint job, I'm guessing. Again, we haven't tuned this. I kind of mentioned to him earlier. We haven't tuned it. We haven't touched the brakes. We haven't done anything besides check it in, buff it, and clean it. Yeah. One other thing I know, the wipers will work, but we had to order new wiper arms, and they've been working. Okay, perfect. But if you listen, they're working. Okay. So right now, things have just been been selling so fast. We've been getting so many Let's cars in. Let's explain it. So we literally sold, Dalton was here by himself last Friday. We sold three last Friday. We sold four on Monday. We sold two yesterday. Yeah. So we're getting them in as, as fast as we can, but we also have a long process when we do these sold tickets to go through and double yeah. check, make sure all the lights work and stuff for our customers. So. Um, right now, we'll just tell you what works and what doesn't work. Um, right now, the horn's not working. Is it a rim blown oh, horn? It is, I'm sorry. But that's not working. It is a rim blown. Sometimes you just gotta hit the right spot. But yeah, factory rim blown steering wheel, which is another rare that is option. Neat. But yeah, it's not working. Gas gauge works, oil pressure gauge works, alternator gauge works, temperature gauge works. That's almost unheard of that the factory gauges are all working. Dome lights not working right now. There's no way they're going to work, I'm sure, but it's always worth a shot. Yeah. It's it might nice get surprised sometimes. Well, sometimes we do, but it's nice that they left it in there, Yeah, isn't it? Heater, heater fan works, I can feel yes. it coming out of there. Yeah. All speeds. Yep. Excellent. It's a factory air car. Air conditioning doesn't seem like it's kicking in. I don't know if it's all there. It appeared to be all there. Um, so we'll have to check on that too and see if that's something that uh, that will work as well. Kind of cool. It's got the factory rear speaker here. It's kind of neat. Dash pads, good shape. Here's the dash is in nice original. shape. Well, by the looks of it. Pretty excited about that next one, guys. 1970 numbers matching 440 Yuko GTX. Kind of keep an eye on for that video too in the next day or two. Yeah. We got a lot of a lot of Mopars right now. A lot of Pontiacs too. <laughs> You've got a lot of cars in general. <laughs> yeah, and we've been selling them uh, pretty fast, and uh, like I said, they're nice muscle cars. Muscle cars sell, and they hold their value well. Man, that transmission is solid, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Would you get a little bit of yeah, we'll cotton? Cotton in my eye, I think. Cotton trees are yeah. fading a little bit. Power steering works perfect, Dalton. We'll talk about this before we get up to highway speed, but the power steering works awesome. The speedometer works as well. So all of our gauges work, including the speedometer going. It's not working right now. Is our dome light and rear low steering wheel and radio. Remember the first time we drove this too, it went really, really nice down the road. It does. It's gonna go through the tranny a little bit. Second gear, third, a really nice shift. A lot of our Mopars also um, have a tendency to get a little sloppy on the shifting. You all right, Pete? Yeah, he's got something by. I got, I got one good eye yet. All right. So, kicked out of the training works good. Look how this thing goes down the road. Just fantastic. That's 70 mile an hour right now. No vibration, no shake, no shimmy. 80. That front end's really tight. Wow. This freaking car is nice, huh? Yeah, it goes down the road beautifully. Here's our brakes. As far as our brakes go, we have a little pull to the left. Yeah. But we still have nice, that power booster. I got a piece of cotton in my eye, you know? <laughs> I know. Uh, the power <laughs> brake booster works really good. Now 
nice car. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, give us a call.